Hi there, I'm Michelle Beatty, a professional development strategist and a PMP certified program manager. The Skills Recharge conversation recently continued during the Add Your Sauce episode on my podcast, Career Tipper. I enjoy watching competitive cooking shows. During conversations with clients, colleagues, and peers, I sometimes discover them shrinking back and identifying and confidently owning the skills that make them the subject matter experts of their industry or niche. In those moments, I remind them to add their sauce. Confidently speaking, posting, and promoting their skill set is essential when communicating with allies, colleagues, and decision makers. Chefs often boast about their sauce and how its savory flavor impacts the dish and overall visual appeal. Your skills and expertise are the sauce that companies, big and small, need. We have to package up our skills nicely, continually, and intentionally. Just like the satisfying taste of a flavorful, savory sauce awakens taste buds, your skills, when strategically placed on display through all forms of professional communication, like a sauce on a plate, can prove to be the strong contributor that is the right hire to meet the needs of a program or project. I'm continuing to provide the breakdown of C and my latest professional development acronym, SAUCE, communicating your value to help you keep your skills recharged, competitive, and hire ready. Like a chef speaking to the flavor notes of a sauce and how it elevates the dish in the consumer's palate and health, professionals need to do the same by articulating and communicating the benefits and the uniqueness of their skills. Workplace and pricing consultant Casey Brown is a pay and equality expert that helps people figure out their worth in the workplace. During her TEDx presentation, Know Your Worth and Then Ask For It, she shared questions I'm passing on to you that may help you better communicate your value in the workplace. Number one, what unique skill set makes me better qualified to serve my clients? Number two, what do I do that no one else does? Number three, what problems do I solve for clients? Number four, what value do I add? Remember, defining a client is not limited to entrepreneurial work. A workplace group or business partner may serve as a client for deliverable. During episode four of season one of Create to Connect on my podcast, Career Tipper, career coach Kathy Francois shared tips on promoting your skills, which are your unique value proposition. Check out the clip. Yeah, absolutely. When it comes to who you are as a professional, it's important for you to establish your lane of expertise, um, or if you're early in your career, establish a story about what led you to your current career aspirations. And most importantly, your story needs to include your value proposition that sums up what you actually bring to an organization or potentially could bring to an organization. That's awesome. So what would a value proposition be? Like for someone that they're starting their career, what would that be? So if you're starting off your career, it could be your training. Um, It could be maybe your unique or ideals or perspective that you've taken. If you're in IT, perhaps you have um, a certification. Um, So it's really about just thinking about the different things, especially for the early careers, it's a bigger challenge than someone who's established like myself. So for those who are Maybe you're just getting out of college. Were you volunteering or were you part of student organizations? Um, There's so many different areas that you can pull from to show how passionate you are about the career that you're trying to transition into. Okay. Now, what would the value proposition proposition look for someone like yourself that you're a veteran at what you do and you are someone that people go to? Yes. So that's a great question. If you take a look at my LinkedIn profile header right now, um, especially as a career development professional higher ed, I chose um, specific words that either show how I bring an organization revenue or how I retain the revenue. So for what I do with career programming, it's student engagement. You got to have keep students engaged so they can stay with stay in the program. It's creating brand affinity. 
And that's something you can't really put money on. And then also student retention. So those are very specific to my industry. So you really have to look at the industry that you're interested in or the organization. What are some of those buzzwords? What are those things that they're constantly keeping metrics on that you either directly or indirectly uh, contribute to? Communicate your value in the workplace beyond being productive and efficient and solving problems through visibility. Stay prepared and ready to talk about the pain points that you're in the process of solving. Share your progress and solicit support when applicable. Share your perspective and knowledge gems through thought leadership. Thought leadership demonstrates why your voice matters for your chosen industry and why people should select advice and collect insight from you. Include your voice to lead industry niche conversations by sharing your expertise that can transcend diverse communication styles and values. Carla Harris, Vice Chairman and Managing Director at Morgan Stanley shared this quote with Salesforce on building relationship currency in the workplace. It's important that you own the great things you deliver in the organization. You should not feel uncomfortable about taking credit for your work. If people don't know that you did it, then how can they reward you? How can they know that you are a leader? If you're uncomfortable taking the spotlight, then use the pronoun we. You can say, look at what we did. I'm so proud of the team. We got this done. But you must be comfortable owning and taking responsibility for your great work. You certainly will take responsibility for the mistakes that are made, so take responsibility for the great things you accomplish as well. Like a well-crafted sauce, our career skills take time to cultivate and develop. Aim to focus on win-win relationships by helping people that will help you. I invite you to join the Skills Recharge conversation by sharing your experiences in the comments. Let's learn from each other.